Welcome back to the series where I teach you everything you need to know about your Buzz TV Power Station 6 Unlimited. Most of the videos in this series will work on other Buzz TVs, but this is specific to this model. Today we're taking a look at the Buzz TV BT500 remote. How to reset it, how to fix it if there's any problems, and ultimately, if you can't get it working at all, what remote you should get for this specific model. We're gonna start with the first step, that is the easiest. Some of you will be like, why are we even trying to do this? all the way up to the more advanced steps that have you reset the remote. I'm actually a big fan of this specific model remote. I find it has a lot of good features on it. It has a nice heft to it, and it also fits really nicely in your hands. So you're probably gonna wanna preserve this one. For step number one, what we're gonna do is what I call a power cycle, but we're gonna do it to our remote as well. The first step in this power cycle is removing the batteries right here. Now, this might seem obvious to some of you, but I do suggest actually changing the batteries at this point if your remote is really not working well, responding, anything like that, because that is one of the most obvious issues that are typically wrong with these remotes is just dead batteries. Like it uses double A's. They just don't last that long. Now, after your batteries are out, go ahead and you want to unplug or turn off your Buzz TV box. Now, if you can turn it off using one of the buttons, perfect. Otherwise, just unplug it from its power source but you do want it completely unplugged from the power source. Now you wanna hold down the power button on the remote for five seconds, yes, with the batteries out. This is gonna release any static charge that's built up in the remote and just kind of help almost reset it in a way. Once you're done that, take your old batteries, if you think they're still charging them, put them back in or put in the new batteries at this point and then go ahead and start up your box again. It should have been unplugged for at least 30 seconds, but I like to do a minute. Now we just let it reboot and see what happens. And in this case, our remote is connected and working and I'm able to scroll through my device with no issues. We can see right here. Now, if step one didn't work, we're gonna to move to step number two. Now for this one, you will need control of your remote still. So this is if you can still use your remote, but maybe it has little problems here or there that you think need to be fixed. Well, one great thing about Buzz TV is they have the Buzz TV Smart Remote app, and this has some really cool features in it. So we're gonna go inside of it right here. And one common issue is your device is just out of update. So we go to update control software, we go install right here, and this is going to upgrade your remote to the latest firmware that's been released. You would be surprised how often this fixes other issues. You'll see there's a red solid light on. That meant it's being updated currently, and now it says on screen it's complete. So now if we go to update control software, we should be at the latest one. I don't know why it keeps allowing me to do the same firmware update, but anyways, once you do it once, you'll be good to go. There's actually a few other things I wanna show you inside of the remote app while we're in here, because there's actually a lot of features you can do inside of here that are really useful. The first one is auto TV setup. So doing this will allow you to set your remote up to be used on your television as well, to control TV power, not just your uh, box power your TV volume, stuff like that. So very handy setup, and that will auto-sync to most TVs. There's also turn backlight off, which is gonna turn off the light that is on your remote in the background. So at night, you won't have that nice backlight. I obviously like having that on. But a really cool one is set up color keys. Now this allows you to take these bottom color keys on your remote and have them set to a shortcut. So you can see for my red, my red button is set to Netflix, my green one is set to live TV, my yellow one is set to Disney Plus, and my blue one is set to Prime Video. So if I wanna to go to Netflix right now, I just click the red button and it instantly loads up. It's actually a really cool feature. Now, if your remote is still not working properly, here's the next thing we can do. You're gonna to wanna to go to settings on your device and then find remote and accessories. Now, one thing interesting about the Buzz TV remote is it connects via Bluetooth. So you can see right here, Buzz TV BT500. It says 100% battery as well, so that's how you can check the battery power. But it also has IR connection, so that doesn't require any Bluetooth whatsoever. It just uses infrared technology, and that's how it sends the signals to the Buzz TV box. So what we can do is we can actually go to our Bluetooth connection if our device is not working properly and we can forget it right here. Now what you're gonna notice is you're still gonna be able to use your remote even without it connected to Bluetooth. So I can still go around and use it. 
But when we go to the Buzz TV Smart Remote app now, you're gonna see those top options, the Auto TV Setup, Backlight, and Update Control Software are turned off. And this is because your remote actually needs a connection to the internet in order to update or to send signals to do other things from your device. So once you're unpaired, we can actually go back to Bluetooth pair right here and select our remote type. In this case, we have the BT500 and press the pairing button. So the pairing buttons for your remote, whenever it's disconnected to Bluetooth, are OK and home at the same time. Hold those down and just hold those down for a few seconds until you see that flashing red light. And now it should auto connect. So when we go back to settings, you're now going to see, boom, just like that, you're now hooked up on your Buzz TV remote again. So nice. Now this last option is if nothing else is working and that's a factory reset on your box itself. I of course suggest doing new batteries and stuff like that first, but to do this, we just wanna to go to device preferences and go to the about section. And now from here, you're gonna see a factory reset option. Now this is going to reset your full box like you've never used it before. So like the first time you set it up, erase all of your data. So this should be a last case scenario. Now, if you can't factory reset it this way because you can't use your remote, well, I'm actually gonna be releasing a guide on how to factory reset your box without needing access to it. So it's done through a method on your device in another video shortly. So make sure to subscribe down below because we'll be doing that video in the coming weeks. Now, if you can't wait and you're convinced your remote isn't working, there's actually a ton of options on Amazon that are around 20 bucks, sometimes a little bit more and sometimes a little bit cheaper that allow you to connect what we call a USB dongle to your device. And this little USB dongle, let's see if I can find a picture of it. Right here, it's this little USB thing just connects into the USB port of your device and will auto sync the remote to it. So this means you don't have to worry about connecting it via Bluetooth, it will just automatically connect. And what I've done is I put down below in the description, my favorite options for keyboard remotes. So if you guys wanna check those out, they are pretty affordable and usually work really well for a long time. And so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe down below. We got lots more tutorials on the Buzz TV box and other devices like this like this and the 50 other I've reviewed on this channel. Subscribe down below. I'll see you guys later.